Today we're going to add an additional memory stick to a Lenovo Think Center M910Q Mini PC. Uh, there are a number of mini PCs in the Lenovo lineup, um, so this may work for a number of them. The, uh, the thing to look for is on the bottom, this plate here will uh, allow you to uh, get to where the memory lives underneath here. So look for this plate. Um, some of the other uh, things that we're doing are going to be pretty uh, much standard across all memory installations, but for the ThinkPad series, it'll be this one specifically. Before you get started, a couple of things. Um, memory is extremely volatile. You can damage it with static electricity. To, so you want to make sure that you're discharged. You're not carrying any static. You'll notice I'm using nitrile gloves. If you have a, uh, an anti-static wristlet like this, um, connect it to your wrist, connect it to something that will help uh, ground you, and that would be perfect. If you don't have either of those things, um, discharge whatever static you have against something metal in the house. A good, uh, good discharge point is actually one of the screws on a uh, switch or outlet plate, uh, since those tend to be grounded as well. So to get started, just on the back of the, uh, the M910Q, this screw here, undo it with a Phillips head screwdriver. It also uh, has a flat head screw um, as well, but you want to use a Phillips to make sure you don't strip it out. This is where it gets a little strange. The top of this thing actually slides forward, and if you hold it up a little bit with your fingers on the bottom and then just slide, you can slide the top off. There are little nubs on the side where it catches, and you remove the top. Then flip it over, and this bottom plate will also slide out. And you can see right here is where the additional memory uh, uh, is supposed to be installed. Your memory is going to be keyed. Okay, so that means this little notch here has to line up with this little point here. That is backwards. We want to make sure that it lines up just like this. As you're sticking your memory in, you want to go in at a little bit of an angle like this, probably about 20, 30 degrees, and you want to push it all the way in, make sure it's nice and snug, and then while you have a little bit of pressure on it, snap it down until these two clips on the side connect over the, uh, the actual PCB board. When you're putting the plate back on the back, um, I've found it actually helps if you hold it upright and see see these little uh, pins on the back these actually go into slots on the back here and if you line it up and then hold it up and just a little bit of pressure to push it back into place and then rotate it like so and the top portion of the case if you lay it on top and then slide it back a little bit it will slide right into those little connectors on the side put your screw back in and that is all there is to it and you have effectively added additional RAM to your computer piece of cake um, the biggest thing here is to make sure that you're uh, discharging the static uh, that you may have built up in your body before trying to uh, put this in, or you could damage the chip and then it won't work. So uh, look through this again. The, um, the instructions are fairly simple. So uh, if you need to, get a hold of us and we can help walk you through it.